What's good, neighborhood? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am here. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. How y'all feel? What's the deal? Let's just jump right into it. I. So as you guys probably been hearing by now, your man Jump Off, Joe Budden, allegedly got attacked last night. And I'm not talking about this situation. I know we covered this a couple of days ago. Joe Budden was outside of a local pub in Jersey. And then Caesar's brother, Lucci, ran down on him, allegedly. Had something to do with the DJ Envy scam and all that stuff. Alleged scam. Put a case on it. Well, I ain't got to put a case on it. The feds did. You know what I'm saying? All right. So Joe went to his podcast, discussed the incident in detail from his point of view and vantage point of what happened. Now, since then, last night on Saturday night going into Sunday, he got attacked. So Twitter's been running rampant with it. But Joe took to uh, Queens, uh, him and Queens Flip did a live stream and they discussed the details of the event. Let's play the clip and we'll come back. What floor saved that boy like man? He wasn't big enough or strong enough. Can't say no nigga like that at me. It's gonna end bad. Oh, you know who on my phone? Everybody relax. Everybody chill. No, no need, no need for dramatics. The guy's 0 and 2. Next time he'll try to send somebody bigger and stronger. And we live to pot up the day. I'm potting tomorrow with uh girls that was there. Yeah, I'm, I know. I know tomorrow we I'm yeah. potting with girls that was there. Yeah. What are we talking about? Yeah. Tomorrow, make sure y'all tomorrow. Make sure y'all make sure y'all play. They like tomorrow y'all get the full. They like the full Uncle Joe. Ooh. You yeah, I heard. They Ooh. Tell me your trick. Cause I ain't gonna lie, they told me you they told me you like a figure skater on the floor. Hey, when the when the floor is wet, it's about who get up first. I got up first. I got up first. Listen, no need for dramatics. Everybody got real good shit going on. Everybody is blessed. I'm here with my baby. We got families. Like, got to move correctly. I do agree with that. But just know if you ever hear anything about me Yo, and a little one. Yamaguchi. Oh, Christy, Yamaguchi. Joe Yamaguchi. If you ever hear me in a little 1v1 kerfuffle, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Tomorrow we filming, the girls gonna be there. Get your Patreon, it's gonna be crazy. I heard, they called me. Yeah. They called me. Yeah, don't get, get no, don't get no Joe news from the ops. Get it from me, I'm gonna tell you what happened. We gonna go through it tomorrow. Sign up to Patreon. You look good though, you good? Did you get, did you get a headache? Nah, man, <laughs> Invite. What do you want me to say? It's just they should have jumped me. Yo, 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 you two and oh. It's oh and two. I don't know how you do. It's oh and two. Yeah, this, what just, week is this? What week is this? <laughs> Listen, I'm gone. Yo, Joe looks fine though. Let's play this other clip. But Joe looks fine. That boy like, Joe man. definitely uh, enough, strong enough. doesn't look like he took a lot, lot or any damage. If so, he is Wolverine with the healing powers. Now, allegedly, this is over. If you recall, Joe Budden had did an episode where he exposed Tax Stone for being weak. Tax Stone, as you know, is doing some time. And I mean a lot of time. For those who don't know, Tax Stone, born Daryl Campbell, 38 years old out of New York City was a podcaster who is currently serving 35 years in prison in relation to his involvement in a fatal shooting in New York City. This happened in Irving Plaza back in 2016. He just got sentenced this summer, as I stated before, in June on June 20th. Well, Joe would go on on his podcast at the text, put out an IG post about him. And does a vicious rant on him, says uh, a lot of things. I'll play a little clip. That I've never. You were a worker for loudspeaker. You are a worker for depopulation. You're now a worker for the state. You are a worker for black death. And still somehow you have the audacity to be in there. Focused on and talking about everybody but you, which is where I get befuddled at 
because the judge gave you 35 years, not for the crime. People have done worse and gotten less. He gave you a stupid ass 35 years so you could sit there and fucking think. So you could just say to yourself, yo, I earned this. Next time you sit your bare ass on that hard metal toilet seat, all you need to say to yourself is I earned this. I don't want to hear none none of these niggas that sing your praises, tax be dropping gems. Them gems got you where? Did you improve on the design or did you do something new? It's now over for the tax brought the streets to podcasting. No, no, no. The streets took you from it. It's a bitter, bitter taste having to watch niggas like me and Gilly and Wallow and Nori and Math have all of this success out here while you post these 2016 polls. Now, if the Joe did his rant, Tex will go on Twitter and he will respond in his own rant, basically saying, hey, look, this dude ain't no street. He's going to apologize like he always do, blah, blah, blah. Going to say, I ain't, no miss, I ain't no street dude. He brings up the, the red carpet situation that happened with the Migos. And he leaves this vo- voice note. Check this out. Joseph. <laughs> All right, so that's where we at with it, man. Allegedly, this this attack that happened on Joe is stemming from the tax stone situation from all reports that I'm hearing. The guys were even saying tax name while they was trying to fight Joe's like, yeah, yeah, this for tax and don't disrespect tax type shit. Um, this is wild. This got to stop. This is crazy. It's senseless. Like, and bro. Y'all out on the streets. This dude is doing 35 years. Y'all about to be sitting right beside him. If things went another way, that's crazy. Um, I wouldn't, I can't even imagine sending somebody on a dummy mission like that. You know, if I got to sit down, you know, focus on some other things, focus on some positivity. You know what I mean? Not bashing other people out here. So there you have it, man. It appears this situation is not, dealing with caesar and his brother this is another situation in the same week stemming from somebody else who got a problem with what joe says on his podcast i know everybody's saying joe gotta move different joe gotta move different nah not just joe free men on the street need to move different don't get tricked off the streets like this could have ended bad for homie he could have got popped and murked his damn self or even worse now you 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 take Joe off the streets and now you're gonna be in prison doing 35 years beside your homeboy. Since Hey it's Antonio Tall the champion, you watching Martin Ash at Breaking Beach. I usually don't do drops, but I'm gonna give you one, bro. I'm gonna give you one. I love you, champ.